Today on the Arachnopsis Research Roundup, I'm joined by uh, Dr. George Bassel from the University of Birmingham. And we're talking about a recent paper just published in Scientific Reports, and the title is Re-Induction of the Cell Cycle in Arachnopsis Post-Embryotic Root Meristem is ABA Insensitive, GA Dependent, and Repressed by KRP6. So thanks very much, George, for joining us today. So can you give us a, uh, a quick overview of the, of, the, of the paper, please? Yeah, thank you, Jerry. Um... At the end of seed development, within the seed, you have a whole complete plant embryo. And within this embryo, the growth has been arrested. Now, upon the induction of the germination process, you have the expansion of cells, which drives the germination process. But within the embryo are two pools of stem cells, one within the shoot apex and one within the root apex. And it's from each of these two pools of stem cells that all the above ground and below ground parts of the plants are derived. So in this arrested state of the embryo, towards the latter stages of germination, you have a a need to reactivate mitosis within these pools of stem cells. And this is essentially what we looked at in this paper. We looked at the hormonal regulation through the key germination and dormancy regulating hormones, GA and ABA, but as well through collaboration with um, Jim Murray in Cardiff, we identified a downstream cell cycle protein, the KRP6, which is also involved in the regulation of okay. mitosis. Okay. So maybe you can take us to some of the early experiments. So it strikes me that I, I never really thought about this before looking at the paper, but there's, there's basically two aspects which have defined uh, germination, and you looked at those two processes and how they're regulated by, by these two hormones. Is that right? Yes, there appear to be two distinct phases. So the, the germination process itself is driven exclusively by cell expansion through cell shape change, which is in the hypocaudal and lower hypocaudal, and to some extent in the radical. But at these latter stages of germination, you have this reinduction of the cell cycle. And this is something that's really not been looked at uh, very much at all, in the sense that many people are studying, for example, root development, and we know in the mature root, once uh, patterning has been set up, once it's... Um, acting autonomously how the regulators are leading to the patterning of the root. Less is known about how, from the quiescent state, this process is reactivated during um, during the germination process. So what we're looking at is sort of a phase two of the germination process, which involves the creation of new organs um, in the mm. plant. Okay, so the, the meristem has been laid down within uh, the developing embryo, and then as the tester is burst, then you get this elongation, um, the start of the elongation of the radical, and you looked at that process. So what did you find about the relationship between ABA and uh, GA? Well, this was actually quite contradictory in terms of what we thought would have happened, unintuitive. So ABA is notorious for being um, a dormancy-promoting hormone, yeah. uh, maintaining the quiescent state. <clears throat> to find that in the non-dormant embryo, that the reinduction of the cell cycle is ABA insensitive was, came as a big surprise. Okay. The fact that it depends upon GA is perhaps less surprising because we know that GA is a trigger which is needed to initiate the process. Mm-hmm. Um, so, in terms of the hormonal regulation, that was very interesting. But to be able to link that as well with this hormone, uh, sorry, with the cell cycle regulatory uh, protein KRP6 was very nice because it gave us a downstream target upon which these signals are converging to regulate the reinduction of the cell cycle. So where did the where did the link with KRP six come from? Were you doing some gene expression studies, or where did that where did that come from? I believe in Jim Murray's lab they've done extensive studies on these various members of uh, cyclins and as well KRPs. Okay. And the KRP six gene itself is not present on the uh, ATH one AFI chip. Okay. So huh. it's been somewhat under the radar. So I think uh, okay. they went back retrospectively and looked at uh, the QPCRs to see what the regulation of the transcript was, and it seemed to correlate quite nicely with uh, the germination process, which led to uh, further study of the mutant. Okay. So a lot of the work in your lab uh, involves looking at the embryo and looking at gene expression profiles in the embryo. So has this work informed some of the future work that you're, you'll be doing, grants you'll be writing and the, and the like? Yes, absolutely. Um the vast majority of the world's food comes starts with the planting of a seed in the field. Mm-hmm. And a key feature of successful seedling establishment is the rapid, rapid downward growth of the root. And this activation of the root meristem is a prerequisite in order for that to happen. Now, this is just the first study in terms of trying to understand uh, sort of the high-level inputs which are regulating this process. Okay. However, there's a lot known about root development, and 
integrating that into the context of the reinduction of um, the root meristem and the establishment of seedlings in the field, I think it has great potential for enhancing agronomic traits in, uh, in crop species. Absolutely. Which is something I would like to look at further. Absolutely. So it's a nice example of something extremely fundamental, this individual cell divisions that, uh, and cell elongation occurring in this very you know, small embryo does have incredible significance ultimately for food security uh, as well. And so you can, we, as plant scientists, it's important to be able to parlay those two things. So the work on cell biology is very important ultimately for, for larger issues involved. Indeed, yes. Absolutely. Cool. All right. So, we'll, well, thanks very much for uh, joining us today. And uh, we look forward to um, hearing more about this in the future. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks very much, George. Cheers.